Welcome to another day of I don't fucking know what's going on, but we all got shit going on, I guess. So, last time you saw this car, it was on the dyno, and it made 110 horsepower. Three digits! Outdoing <laughs> all of our expectations. And I told you guys that the other part of that conversation was going to be weight. So now, we are headed down to Reckla Metals in Clifton, which is where I had my race car weighed, so that they will be on the same scale, and we are going to have it weighed. It's going to cost Senor Evan a whopping five dollars. Oh, breaking the bank. Oh, breaking the bank. But then we get to find out the rest of the info that we are looking for. So, we're going to head down there, and we will see you guys in a few. On to the scale she goes. Hmm, she's so pretty today. All right, now he's got to get out so that his weight is not accounted for. And then we're going to wait for the gentleman to come out and tell us that we're good to go on getting off of it. I'm going to go grab his time slip and I'm going to try and hide it from him and make him guess first. That was the point of me getting out and paying for it before he could. Go run inside. I have the slip. <laughs> I know what it weighs. All right, hold on. Let me flip you guys around. All right. I was hoping for 19, nine, 19.99, just a shy of 2,000 pounds. What do you, you think? Hoping, you were hoping for just shy of two grand, huh? Yeah. I wanted it to weigh under a ton. Okay. By just a cut hair. It doesn't. Let's see, so factory weight is probably, well, according to Google, Google says either 2,600 or 2,550, whatever. Okay. Um, I don't have any idea on how much weight I actually pulled out of this car, um, but I do think it was substantial as far as... I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm gonna say that she's right at 2,200. All right, y'all. Before I hand him the slip, y'all need to go down in the comment section and write your guesses below. Here you go. Cool. What's the way? 2140. That means I gotta take the wing off. <laughs> or I'm in the next class, and that's not okay with me. Okay, wingless. Wingless or it I, is. Or I add. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This was weighed without me in it. Uh huh. With me in it, 2140, I'm about uh -huh. 135. Yeah, we're both 135 on it. So. 135, it's going to be 2275. Which means wing stays on, can stay on if I choose to run it. And I can still be an HP5, which is the slow car class. Is that the slowest car class? Yes. <laughs> Does that put you anywhere near the top of it? Oh, yes. So you're going to be competitive this year? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Cool, I got power to wait. Ready? Math? Alright guys, give us a little bit. We're gonna go run this thing down the road, do a little bit of a shakedown test, and I will get back to you with an actual power to weight ratio. Alright y'all, so, doing the maths, good old maths, puts him at 20.68 to 1. That's, that's 20, well 20 and a half.
looks like it got assholed. So that's see, super cool. See. Yeah, she definitely got assholed. Yeah. All right, anyway. The so, cutoff for HP5 is 19. The cutoff for HP5 is 19. Um, that puts me at like one point, one and a half points above that line. I have So I have a little wiggle room. I, let's see, the wing, if I run the wing, that's worth one point. So that puts me at 19.5, roughly. So if I'm at 19.5... Uh, yeah. No synchros in second gear anymore, it's cool. Um, 19 and a half is good. I'm good with that. So I'm still solidly in the HP5, but I am closer to the cutoff, so I should have the power to wait in my car to run that class well. After that, it's all on me, being a decent driver. What were you last year? I don't know, because I never weighed the car. But...